I miss you. I know you thinking about me. You better be thinking about me. Are you thinking about me? I love you. Anyway, um, I know it's been a long time. I'm analyze that, okay? But, you know, I got my foots. Okay, one in Puerto Rico, one over here. This sun is fucking up my show, even though it's, it's actually cloudy. But anyway, I'm trying to do this show for you. You deserve it. But let me tell you something. It's hard for me to do a show because I struggle. Okay, I got, like I said, my two feet. One in Puerto Rico and one in New York City, and I'm in Mommy's house right now. And the struggle is very real, okay? Bear with me on the sun. Because I'm going to flip this camera over. The show is going to be about food, cooking good. You deserve a healthy eating, you know, regimen. Because, you know, when you're thinking about health, think in terms of food and exercise, whatever, you know. And some of us have health problems. And we need to eat good, you know what I'm saying? Just eat right. Okay, but back to what I was saying. Like, I got my feet in two different... That's what the show's gonna be about, but I got my feet in two different places. Puerto Rico and here. I'm back here now. Long story short, I'm gonna go right back to Puerto Rico. I'm in New York right now. In Mommy Kitchen. My mom, my Mommy Kitchen, right? But, um... And this is what the show's gonna be about cooking, but... You know, I don't get paid a dollar at 50 cent or 25 cent or nothing to do these shows. This is all on me because I love you so damn much, Right? So I want to help you or whatever I can. You know what? If you want to ever donate to me, since some of you think that I get paid, because I get that a lot with you people, and this is all for the philanthropy, okay, or whatever, you know, me being, you know, a sweetie, sweet girl for you. But like I said, if you ever want to donate to me, lazz3 at yahoo.com. There you go, that PayPal me. I love you for that, right, anyway. No, for real, because I don't get paid for these shows. This is just for you, right? Girl struggles. Girl struggle hard. She struggled hard, okay? Anyway, back to my show. Right. Stay tuned to this one. This one's going to be about healthy eating. I'm going to um show you. And I'm not going to do a big old possession like a big old recipe cooking show, because you smart. You real smart. My viewers are supersonic. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you remember that song of you from the uh, you know from my time from the eighties? You remember that? Anyway, so anyway, my my viewers are supersonically intelligent. They're super califragilistic, espialidociously smart. Okay, that's what my Robin. There you go. I cited that. And you guys don't need all that direction. I'm just gonna tell you about what I'm cooking, and I'm gonna give you some tips, right, to make this really delicious food that's gonna be healthy for you too. So stay. Stay tuned to this show, to this one. And thank you for, you know, watching my show. And thank you for not leaving my ass because I haven't been here for a while. And, ooh, okay, let me stop. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, here we are. Whoops. All right. I'm just, you know, I'm filming this from my phone, so bear with me. This is recao. It's dry. This is a dry piece of recao. It's all fresh. This is parsley. And see that? That's garlic mushroom and that's tomato right and onions but what i want to say is that this tomato and this this tomato that little tiny tomato right there i could touch my food because i know when it's cooking it right i'm gonna eat it i'm gonna eat it right so this garlic and that tomato right there that's from the garden that's from the garden right down there right? okay right down there from where my mother lives yes right there okay you can't see it but anyway and I want to talk about this because I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this, but it's not made yet. And I know you like, what's up with the corn, Azizi? Okay, I'm going to tell you. It's corny. No, no, that was corny. The corn, it's going to be like a elote. You know, like our Mexican brothers and sisters be making all the time. But this is going to be Puerto Rican style because I'm just going to, you know, throw it together. Not with all the fucking ingredients they use. You know what I'm saying? Basically, they put mayonnaise and some type of cheese and they put hot sauce and butter and pretty much that's it sums up the recipe but i'm gonna do something like that with that but that's not healthy okay that's the junk food right there so we ain't talking about that but this right here i want to talk about it you see that you're like what the hell is it okay it's salmon and i'm gonna tell you about that in a minute you take a piece of salmon you fry that shit up to a crisp and i'm gonna tell you why because when you're crumbling it the skin it's gonna taste just like bacon I, yes i know right you like Lazizi, could it be? Could it be true? 
see yes it is true and then when you put it on the soup because this is what i'm gonna make it's like a stew i'm gonna make it it's like a bis stew it's like a pumpkin bis right but i'm gonna make it and i'm gonna crumble this i'm gonna it's already kind of crumbled i'm gonna crumble it on top of the stew this is all the fresh ingredients and this is the pumpkin right here you want to use a fresh pumpkin okay and then um you know on the side you know cauliflower well they have it frozen frozen form i know i know it's frozen i'm bear with me but you know if you cook it out right put some butter in it salt pepper it it's gonna be fucking delicious too you can put that on the side or eat it like a rice or whatever and then you're feeling very full and satisfied i know the corn is like but wait the corn i know that's the bad part but that's that is something that i'm cooking you know i'm gonna cook today i'm cooking that too but this is not what i'm talking about i'm just telling you how you can make elotes at your house and i think that's how they say it but don't quote me because i don't want to be like oh that's not how we say it but this is for my mexican brothers and sisters out there and you know America and the world and planet Earth, you know, and everything. This is how I'ma do it. But then when I have all this, you know, all this beautiful food done, you know, then we could, you know, I'll show you that part too. And then there you go. Bear with me. Now you watching part three, I think. Anyway, now you saying, oh, these fresh herbs, right? You keep them numb in a bowl, right? I'ma tell you why. That's it. I, I took it out. Uh, you know, husked it out of the you know the skin and that's the pumpkin look at that simmer it you simmer that in butter and oil salt and pepper there you go you simmer it first in the you know you fry it up and then you add the pumpkin and then i'll show you what voila okay see these are my homemade iliotes see them okay mm. all right so my mexican brothers and sisters peace you probably be like that's not how we do it but hey that's how we do it right here at the last easy show thank you for the recipe I mean, like don't we ain't trying to take credit for that no but it's delicious yo really it's mayonnaise butter salt and hot sauce i know they do the cayenne pepper thing but hey you know we deal with what we got i'm um, sorry for the shaky camera but i'm doing this off my phone okay here you go this is the end result of that soup mm. okay let me show you the consistency of it this thick i like it thick you can make it more thin you know more thinner by you know and then that's a big piece of garlic you probably like i don't like my garlic like that but i do you could chop yours up anyway i like it thick but you can make it thin you put water and you know milk butter you could put olive oil too that's the fish on top that's the crunchy pieces you know you just add some to the top now that make it taste like bacon if you like need to stay away from bacon how you make it taste like bacon salt and pepper a lot fry that bitch up okay this right here this is what i was telling you about this is the frozen cauliflower cook it down drain it add butter you know your spices it just has you know it has parsley in it you know from the jar like that parsley salt and pepper and butter it's very good it's, it's like a mock rice and then you can eat as much as you want and this is this is the bad part right you know, corn is not something that I kind of stay away from corn, but it's a, you know, it's a little dirty little treat right here because corn is something that I don't really trust in this world right now. But once in a blue moon, you know, and this is a, a dish if you're trying to just stay away from me, you know, I love you and I want you to eat good. Oh, whoops, that's my phone. Gotta go. Bye. Love you. Stay tuned for the next Lazy Z show. You know, we're going to be talking about back. Don't know yet. Anyway, peace.